All right, right now, a live look at New York City as today marks 22 years since the September 11th attacks. I know a lot of you can remember this morning where you were when those planes hit the Twin Towers. Well, tonight the sky will be lit by twin beams of light, reminding us of a day that changed America forever. Well, with every passing year, 9-11 is never any easier to remember. And with every passing generation, the memories of those who lost their lives never fade. But how do the different generations remember this day? Meredith Haas joins us with the story of a woman who was in a New York at that time and her daughter who looks back on this day. Good morning to you, Meredith. Good morning, Jasmine. So according to Pew Research, 92% of Americans above 80 remember where they were on 9-11, but only 42% of 25 year olds can recall the same thing. Well, 22 years later, Annette and Ayana are from two different generations, a generation that can remember where they were on 9-11 and a generation that wasn't even alive to witness the attacks. Annette was feeling sick from her pregnancy with Ayana, and so she stayed home on that day. She says she remembers frantically calling family to make sure they were alive and okay. For Ayana, who was only in her mother's belly at the time, she remembers only a world after terrorism. And 9-11 is an experience she'll only know through video and textbooks. I don't really have recollection of that time, like that much information about it. But I just know that it was tragic. And now there's so much like security because of it. And then she said when that second plane hit, um, she was like, it was like a cloud of white dust that just covered all of Manhattan. It was just such a horrific thing. Like I, I don't wish that on anybody. Well, today the U.S. is withdrawn from Af Afghanistan and security measures are higher than ever before at airports. It's a world Annette would never knew before September 1st, 2001, but one her daughter was born into, like many of us. But the one thing we all have in common across many generations is that we will never forget the thousands of people who died and the first responders who put their lives at risk trying to save those in the towers. Okay, thank you, Meredith. I remember where I was that day. I was sitting in history class and our teacher turned on the TV and there it was. We were just so shocked and saddened that day. And see thank two you. different generations here, right? Definitely. I was just a baby and you were sitting in class. For sure. Thank you, Meredith.